Hi, this is Stuart Hewlett with Mount Pleasant Renovations. I uh, just want to show you a little bit about PEX and polybutylene. This is a polybutylene situation where the fittings have gone bad, uh, which is really the, the big problem with poly, and, uh, and how to fix it. So hopefully this will be a benefit to you and you can take this and fix your own situations as they come up. What we have here is polybutylene and it's the gray pipe and this fitting right here is cracked. This is a plastic fitting. See there it is. See that break off? That was on there. It already had a crack in it. It was leaking and so the fitting broke. That's um, and that's that. And so here we are. Uh, you can't buy parts and pieces for polybutylene anymore. It's just not something you can do. The, the pipe tends to be um, still pliable. See I can still bend this. I don't know if you can see me bending that. Still, The pipe is still pliable. Um, but the fittings are not. The fittings harden out. And uh, so what we need to do here is replace these fittings with, uh, with other fittings. And since we can't buy polybutylene fittings, but instead we can buy something like this, which is a kit to adapt from poly to PEX. To cut this, I'm going to cut it here just below the fitting. I'm going to cut it here below the fitting. Probably cut it here somewhere convenient up on that pipe just to get that out. And I'll do the same thing with this whole tree right here just to make kind of a manifold. Uh, I'll make a whole whole new pieces out of uh, out of PEX and fit them in there and crimp them on. That's, that's the routine for this one. So uh, anyway, I could show you crimping, but yeah, maybe I'll show you that. Well, that's it for now. I'll show you when I get the little pieces all fitted together. I'll show you what it looks like. I wanted to show you how you cut this. I've got these cutters here, and um, and they're just very simple, inexpensive cutters. Real, sh very sharp. Keep this thing very sharp. Um, just a little work and snip, clean cut. Now my feet, my piece will go in there neatly. Well, I wanted to show you these two uh, these two crimp rings here and um, show you the difference. They actually are different. Um, I've used both. Um, you can see that this here is the poly and this is the PEX. The PEX is a little shorter. Let's see if I can get the focus right on that. Um, and if you look at the thickness of the ring, I'll pick those up right, um, the, the PEX is a little, I don't know, maybe just a little thicker, but certainly taller. So the poly is taller this in you know this way than the PEX is. Um, so just grab the right ring. I've had no issues using the PEX crimps on poly, but uh, if you're doing this, might as well do it right. They both come in the kit, so so put the the wider one on the polybutylene side and the thinner one um, on the PEX side. Okay, this is a um, this is the fitting that you use, and if you notice uh, focus issues. You notice that the uh, the barb on these, these little uh, rings on here, if, I, if you can see that against the light, these rings on this side are closer together than the rings on this side. This is the polybutylene side on the left, and this is the PEX side on the right. So uh, put them together right with the right ring on the correct side, and you'll be good to go. Well, I've, uh, I've put one in, put one of these manifolds, I call them manifolds, just, um, you know, it's a new piece. It looks like the old piece. See, it's connected to the original PEX on this side and uh, down here at the bottom. And I've cut out the next one in preparation for doing that work. And I've got uh, the other piece here. I, I like to do the hot side or, you know, do one temperature before I do the other. You know, if I do hot side and then do all the cold sides, so I don't mix up the pipes. Um, that's just me. Uh, if I cut them all off and try to put it back together, I could easily make a mistake. And I make mistakes like that all the time. So I, I try to avoid that by having a system that works. Um, put the ring on, of course, before you assemble it. Um, these are the fatter rings because they're going on the polybutylene side. Put those on. Then, you know, fight the, uh, fight the piece in there and you want to get it all the way down. Well, maybe I won't show you all the details of putting that together, but you get the idea. I've already crimped up everything that needs to be um, you know, crimped on this piece. So I'm going to put all that together, um, put the ring on first, otherwise you got to pull it apart to get the ring on. So I just put all the rings on as I'm assembling. Once the rings are on, I go and I crimp them all. Um, and uh, that's about it. Of course, there's going to be a water test in a minute. We'll see how we do. You know, you can feel around everything and see if there's leaks. I already bled the water through the system, so I know that I've got water in the pipes here. And, uh, and I've got no wet spots around any of my connections or anything. And 
And since this was leaking, I'm going to let this wall dry out and put a fan on it and dry it out before I close up the drywall. Um, it's always a good idea because there's not much place for the air to circulate in there. It could get moldy and everything. So there you have it. One more polybutylene disaster recovered from. <laughs> Take care. I hope you enjoy this.